Today. Right, so my name's Carl Buckley and I came 13 places Irish Nationals playing True Draco. Perfect. Um, yeah. I wasn't going to do deck profile because nobody fucking watches Draco deck profiles <laughs> anymore, but uh, I, I'll do it anyway. Yeah, go okay. ahead. So, the master lineup? Played the one Metaltron. Uh, came up so much today. Put in a lot of work. Oh, really now? Yeah. Same thing. Dynamite, one of. I'd play more if I could. Uh, <laughs> a lot of work. Dynamite, add a trap, use a trap, some Metaltron. Insane. I'm just wondering, with, with regard to the dynamite, yeah. um, how do you feel this added a good kind of uh, lease of life to True Dracos in general, if you get what I mean? So I think I think with the ban list, the overall power of True Draco dropped, mm -hmm. but the consistency of True Draco was increased. Yes. And like, True Draco wasn't exactly a powerhouse deck, but mm -hmm. it was consistency that okay. sat on a boss monster, which was Masterpiece. Mm -hmm. But now, like, the power of the boss monster has declined because Meltron's more difficult to bring out and less powerful than Masterpiece. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the consistency increased with the Dynamite coming back and the Ignis the Tree. So it did what it did well, it does what it does well better. Mm -hmm. So it still has that consistency, but it's just lacking slightly in power, which is why it needs a bit of support, or a lot of fucking support from Floodgates. Okay, yeah. But we'll get to my Floodgates <laughs> later. Okay, so, press on, sir. Then we're playing the Tree Maiden. Okay. Uh, I've seen a lot of people running one, two Maiden at the moment. Yeah, um, two seems standard. I, I like pe yeah, people are for favor. A lot of people are favoring Darius over it. I don't really like Darius. Um, mm -hmm. You don't want to be special summoning your shit. Mm -hmm. uh, just like I think Tree Maiden is solid. It'll search out your whole deck. You're mm -hmm. running such a low monster count. You can search out Maiden if you want. If you don't want Maiden, you don't search it. Mm -hmm. It's fine if you see it. It's good. If you don't see it, you can find it. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. And then sure. rounding it off with two Ignis. Sure. Um, I um, wouldn't play Tree. You don't okay. need to search your spells that often. If you want to search your spells, you search them off Diagram. Um. But a lot of, like, again, same with for Dynamite. If you want to bring out the Meltron on your opponent's mm -hmm. turn, immune to spell, like in Sky Striker matchup. Sure. That's where Ignis will be MVP. Okay. That's all the monsters. Just play the seven. No Amanos. Um, no Amano, no? No Rocky Boy. I don't feel like Amano's very good this format because it was good last format because you could play Amano going first or second mm -hmm. because Amano could break a board. Sure. Amano can't break a board this format. Mm -hmm. So it kind of cripple. It's kind of been power crept out of format okay. it could come up again <laughs> but for the moment i feel like a mano isn't necessary and that the deck can function without it okay and i think i did that justice today okay so moving on to your spells spells i played two terraforming three diagram um, um i just want to know why are you running just two terraforming i need more room for floodgates <laughs> fair enough and fair like enough. last format terraform was an easy side out mm -hmm. now i just took one out of the main completely okay Fair enough. Everyone knows what it does, don't need to explain it. Mm -hmm. Two Desires, completely standard. Yes. Uh, whoa, where are you? Three Demise, standard. And then two Duality. Same reasons as two Terraforming. It was a side out last format. And to make space for Floodgates. And to make space this format, I just made the two instead of sliding one out every game. Okay. Um, standard to Draco spells. Again, nothing to talk about. Everyone, no, everyone's not. done this deck profile oh, yeah. before. Everyone's seen it. Nobody yeah. gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit, one storm for. <laughs> um, as many true Draco traps as I'm allowed to play. We've all seen this before. Um, return came up a lot more than it used to. Okay. Because I found that a lot of times I'd be popping a maiden off diagram mm -hmm. to search out the return, and the return will bring back the maiden, and then I'll use the return to tribute the maiden to return and another set card for the Metaltron. Mm -hmm. So return's value is probably a lot higher at the moment because the Metaltron's come back. Okay. And again, same thing, the Waterfall, because you're playing Metaltron and Dynamite, Waterfall is really good to search something out on your opponent's turn, because mm -hmm. if you've Dynamite on board, you can search out the any trap on your opponent's turn, mm -hmm. and then you can use the trap to tribute someone on your opponent's turn with a monster you searched off Waterfall. Mm -hmm. Waterfall is also really good for dodging Widow Anchors. Yeah, for draw power. So like, so, uh, yeah. it came up, I think twice today, that... Uh, I had a Widow Anchor target my Maiden. Mm -hmm. Then you chain the Maiden's effect in response to Widow Anchor. Mm -hmm. Or even the other way around, that Maiden would activate its effect and Widow Anchor would target Maiden. And then to that, you can chain the Waterfall. And Waterfall will uh, send your Maiden to Grave, so it dodges the targeting. So Maiden can resolve to add the hand, and Waterfall will draw two. Mm -hmm. 
So like waterfall can come up to either give you the search or to dodge effects. Mm -hmm. I've also dodged my skill drain twice today with it, mm -hmm. which uh, was really valuable. I think three waterfall at the moment is absolutely insane. Okay. That's just something different than we were playing last format. Mm -hmm. um, double rivalry, really good against all the meta. Oh yeah. Stops Goki from linking, stops Spiral from linking, uh, prevents Sky Strikers from going into their extra deck entirely. Sure. sure. Uh, it's just a complete lockdown card. The only thing it struggles against is uh, the Altergeist and in the mirror. But, like, it's an easy side out. Ah, fair enough. Uh, other thing, really good in the format. You want to play two oh, yeah. spell in pure yeah. order. Mm -hmm. It's a spell heavy format. Like, I mean, it's not great against the Gokis. It'd slow down spirals. No. It'll cripple the um, Sky Strikers. Mm -hmm. Wins the mirror match. Really good floodgates. Oh, yeah, um, and spell fragrance is just a standard spell spell. Game Shout out to Shane yeah. Morley for the Imperial Order. Okay. Uh, came up a lot today. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> and again, standard skill one drain. of skill drain. Yep. I didn't play erupt because I'm playing an extra deck. <laughs> but uh, skill drain came up a few times. Uh, put in a good bit of work in one of my Sky Strikers matchup. Mm -hmm. It's a card I usually side out against Sky Strikers, but uh, it was able to stop their red, um, red extra monster from. Uh, Activating its effect and it really just slowed it down completely. It allowed me to grind out the win and it resourced them. Fair enough. And then last of the floodgates, double mistake. Double mistake. Again, absolutely insane this format. Mm -hmm. I think two is enough. Okay. Why um, not three? We have enough draw power mm -hmm. that we can get to it. Like if you don't get to it, you've gone drawn to other floodgates. Okay. Like you're going to draw into like a lot of times you're ending on two floodgates. Or you're ending on one floodgate mm -hmm. and something that can pop a card in your opponent's turn because mm -hmm. you like a trap the tribute something. Yeah. You're always ending on a floodgate. So you meant to draw power you're playing. Okay, it's so you feel if you're running tree mistake, you'd be more in a position to be punished by the floodgate as opposed to you, benefiting off it. You don't want to see it more than once. No. Like as they say, you want to see it some of the time, but not all of the all time. All the time. Yeah. Exactly. Good card. <laughs> exactly. Finishing off the deck, just a one of judgment. Um, honestly. It only came up once today. Okay. And that was to negate a red reboot, <laughs> which was really interesting. So we were playing fucking duel links with 4k life points each. <laughs> um, honestly, there were times when I had it set and I wish I had a warning. But um, I still think Judgment's a good card. It's a toss up between Judgment and Warning for the main, though. I'll, something I'd consider for next time. Okay. So okay. it's a total of 42 cards in the main Very deck. Good. Very good. So moving on to extra. Extra, um, we played a few chariot targets because we have chariots on the side. So there's borrow because scapegoat's a card. Borrow load, okay. Firewall because firewall's a fucking card. <laughs> FDKs are a thing. Toad because I can. Yep. Double helix, obviously. Um, Sky striker red one. Um, <laughs> didn't run the blue one. Didn't feel a need. I feel like if I hit the red one, it's fine. I honestly never sided in my cherries against Sky Strikers because any of the decks I played, I felt like they are going to force me to go first again anyway. Okay. So I didn't side in my cherries, and I was right. They made me go first, so I was happy with my siding. Okay. Uh, and then, just because we're in Ireland, people fucking play Rogue all the time. <laughs> the one ABC Buster. Uh. Never came up, didn't see the matchup, didn't see Paleo either, but um, would have been nice to have against the decks if it did come up. Okay. Um... Then there's cards I could have gone into, but I'd never went into the Phoenix, the Cerberus. Never needed them, but if I needed some spot removal, decent cards. That's fairly standard. standard um, yeah. Again, something I could have gone into, but I didn't. It does come up. The Volcasaurus, the Gaia Saber. Um, if you ever want to push for game, especially mm -hmm. in time at the moment, the Volcasaurus will pop a card, deal burn, Gaia does piercing. Really good for pushing for game. Didn't come up today, has come up okay. before. Okay, okay. Um... And then rounded off the Metaltron targets because I didn't play Waking the Dragon. Um, the Coast Order Trainer. Trainer. Co uh, 3800 beater can't be targeted. Oh. It's my it's my out to the Ultimate Falcon if that shit comes up because <laughs> fuck that card. No main deck outs to it. <laughs> uh, Crystal Wing. Crystal Wing. Because I can run Crystal Wing, why wouldn't I run Crystal Wing? Mm -hmm. uh, Exterior. Brought out once against Sky Strikers, absolutely crippled the deck. Like, banish one, mill one, not once per turn, negate, spell or trap. 
to just negate all their fucking spells. A complete lockout. Yeah. Why not? Mm -hmm. uh, then a little bit of spice. The super heavy samurai. Steam trained king. <laughs> um, 4800 beat runs in defense mode, so we should play like this. Yeah, it can attack while it's in defense, can't it? It attacks it, like every super heavy samurai. 4800 beat runs okay. in defense mode. Okay. Um, it's not route to the ultimate falcon. Uh, this one can be targeted though, so like. It comes up different situations than the ultimate trainer. Of course, of course. Um, yeah. It's also discard up to two, pop up to two. Mm -hmm. So it's good spot removal. Yes. And um, also I burned one player for game with it. Because uh, it's it's effect allows you to banish all spells from both players' graveyards. And deal 200 from each. Mm -hmm. So it came up, I think I burned for like 1800 for game against one player. 1800. Absolutely wow. insane. And then the last card in my extra deck that... Um, I'm kind of regretting playing, to be honest. Uh, I never needed it because there was I couldn't summon it. <laughs> but I decided I'd leave in the Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon <laughs> as a Cherry's target, just in fucking case. <laughs> did, uh, did that come up? It never came up. <laughs> I was running Waking the Dragon up until last night, and I cut it last night. But I didn't cut the Ultimate Falcon with it. So I mm -hmm. figured it's still a decent Cherry's target because it's hard for the deck to out. Without the ultimate trainer or the steam train. Mm. So I left it in, regret it, but I couldn't think of anything else on the last minute to put in. So Okay, fair enough. YOLO. I, I'd figure something else yeah. out for the next time. And so then, moving on to your side deck? On to the side. Uh, side deck came up a good bit today. There, sometimes, some games I didn't side, some games I sided a lot. Mm -hmm. Most time I was really happy with how my main deck was playing, so I didn't need to side. Okay. But uh, we started off... Uh, Staple side in format, two gold by the grave. Okay, there's no reason not to run this at least at two in the side. Mm -hmm. Um, it hits sky strikers, hits gokies, hits spirals, hits altergeists, hits fucking dinosaurs. If you see that, mm. will hit anything that uses anything in grave, hits fucking hand traps. Obviously, it's <laughs> commanders in deck. Staple two of has to be played. Okay, um, two droll. It's what I, I changed last minute for my two waking dragons was two droll. Okay. Um, Sided in once, came up once, really happy with it, can't complain. Okay. Um, a little bit of spice for um, the Altergeist matchup, I played one wiretap and two seven tools. Okay, you'll have to explain this one. So, a lot of people are playing Red Reboot at the moment, because mm -hmm. the, to like slow down Altergeist, yep. allow you to establish your board. But I feel like if you're not OTKing on Altergeist, you do not want to give them an extra trap. No. So these will allow it to stop the altar guys because like True Draco is a slow fucking deck. True Draco isn't going to be like turboing out attacking for game unless you're bringing out your fucking super heavy samurai mm -hmm. steam king train. Yeah. So these allow you to stop the altar guys, slow them down. I also um sided them in against trick stars. I hit a reincarnation. Okay. I sided I sided in one seven tools against trick stars, which probably a bad idea because the one thousand life point cost. Mm -hmm. But hitting a reincarnation with seven tools was really fucking. Oh yeah, satisfying. it's all worth it. Yeah. So um. Really happy with this on the side. It came up when I needed to. Um, I also ran three typhoon, again for the altergeist matchup. Also for the mirror. Uh, it came up again against trick stars. I hit a life stage with it. Uh, typhoon's it's a good card if you think they're going to force to go second, like the trick stars, mm -hmm. like altergeist would activate from your hand to pop a card. Really good. Okay. I think this is a. Really solid side this format. This is actually pretty interesting as well because Typhoon is more of a side card that is more associated with um, with Pendulum Magician or other Pendulum variants in the format as well. Yeah. So yeah. So what made you want to just pick it up again and just kind of just readjust it for this format? Uh, it was mostly for the older guys because mm -hmm. Personal Spoofing is a card. Sure. And if you can hit the Personal Spoofing on after Occupation, mm -hmm. it just shuts down the deck. They can't extend further. They can't bring up the Multifigure. They can't play up the Sucretus. Okay. And it'll just stun the deck. So I feel like Typhoon is really good against the Altergeist. All right. And because True Draco is still creeping up a bit, mm -hmm. um, a lot of thanks to me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, really good card. Hit the diagram, hit whatever the fuck you want. Just pop a card. Uh, two sphere mode for the. Obviously, for the Link, link decks, the Nightmares. Um, I don't think I ever saw it today. I didn't really want this. Um, I didn't see many nightmares uh, in my matchups. So I somehow dodged them all. But good card. Uh, definitely would still slide it in. 
if I needed it. So it's good to have the two of. Okay, fair enough. And then last thing I talked about it before, the triple cherries. Cherries. Honestly, again, this didn't come up much. I had it if I needed it, but I didn't side it against the Sky Strikers because I knew they were going to make me go mm-hmm. first, and I trusted my floodgates to carry me through the matchups. Um, I don't think I even resolved it once. I think I sided it in one round. I can't remember even what against, mm-hmm. but I never resolved cherries. Wouldn't change it. Really happy with the card. Oh yeah, it's staple this format. Okay, uh, that's everything. Um, shout out to Dan Evelyn, Irish Yu Gi Oh! for the event. Uh, as always, really well run, really happy with it. Uh, shout out to our sponsor, Sandbox, and um, everyone else in Team Mambo for playtesting and being shit. <laughs> Peace.